We're at the Cooper and Hunter booth, and today we're discussing the difference between a multi-zone mini split, a mini VRF system, and a VRF system. On a multi-zone mini split, you're going to have anywhere from, say, two zones all the way up to five zones, and you're going to individually connect each one of these to the indoor unit, such as the wall-mounted unit, the ceiling cassette, a one-way cassette, a slim duct unit, a mini floor console, a floor ceiling unit, or a multi-position air handler. These can connect to any one of those combinations as long as this unit has the correct capacity to support those units. And as well, you don't have to install every single one of these. Uh, so you could say install say three out of the five zones in order to add the additional zones later. So on this multi-zone mini split system, the compressor is an inverter compressor and it can ramp down as low as 25% of its operating capacity if only a couple zones are calling, say for heat or for cooling, and it can ramp up to 100% capacity to meet the full load. It can even go up to 110% in order for uh, just a short period of time for operation. Now, the other thing is that you could have a total cumulative line set length of 264 feet added to this. So that's all of the indoor unit line sets added together. And each one of those line sets can go vertically up to say 50 foot. So let's move on to the mini VRF. On a mini VRF system, the big difference is it's multi-zone, but the thing is you only have two service valves to have your line set going into the building. And the big difference is you're gonna be connecting to Y fittings in order to branch off to each of your individual indoor units. And so you're not gonna have individual line set lengths from the outdoor unit to each of the indoor units. So it's just gonna be one and you're just gonna branch off as you go. And so you're gonna have this be able to get connected up to up to 11 indoor units. And so you could have a total line set length connected to this of up to almost 400 lineal feet. So that's 400 cumulative feet. And so that's a, that's a big deal. And so the other big change or difference is that at each of the indoor units, such as this uh, air handler right here, you're actually gonna have a metering device at the indoor units. And so that differs from a multi-zone mini split. And so you're gonna have this operating just like a heat pump, but it's the whole point is that you have a larger uh, capacity, a larger size, larger line set length, so it gives you more options. And so the big thing is you're using these Y branches on a mini VRF to connect to all the indoor units, and so you can have up to 100 feet vertically of line set with this unit. The other thing is the compressor can even ramp down as low as 15%, all the way down to 15% of its operating capacity, which is a big deal. So you can only have a few zones calling for this to turn on and run. And so there's a lot of advantages here. And VRF systems can be powered with three phase, 230 or 460 volts. And so this one right here can be anywhere from say six tons up to 38 tons. And so then we also have our hyper VRF systems. And these ones can go from anywhere from say six tons all the way up to 20 tons. And the whole point is that on a hyperheat VRF, what you're gonna have is you're gonna be able to uh, produce 100% of its operating capacity at even negative four degrees, so it's a big deal. And so on a system like this, you're gonna have your three pipes right here. And so for a regular heat pump application, you can do two pipes, or for heat recovery, you can additionally add this other pipe. So on this VRF system, you see it's a three pipe setup. And so this is your heat recovery pipe. So this could be low pressure or high pressure. And that's gonna enable the indoor zones to operate some in heating and some in air conditioning because you can utilize a branch box. So these three pipes would connect to these three pipes. So this would be your heat recovery pipe. And then you're gonna have your EEVs here in order to be able to allow the refrigerant to travel uh, in these zones to the, each of the indoor units. And like I said, you could have maybe these three in air conditioning and this one in heating all happening at the same time by utilizing this branch box with this three pipe setup on a VRF system. And so each of the indoor units have a metering device. So you can see the EEV right here. And so that's on any type of the indoor units that this connects to. And so this can connect from say 13 units all the way up to 64 indoor units, which is a huge deal. And so you can have uh, upwards of 3,000 lineal feet of line set length. And so you can even go up to almost 300 feet vertically with the line set. So it's a, it's a really big deal. And so the compressor here is an inverter compressor. And so on these smaller systems, you're gonna have one compressor with one IPM, 
with a refrigerant heat exchanger for the intelligent power module to power the compressor. And uh, this, this right here is going to be your heat sink. And so you don't have to have air crossing the heat exchanger of the IPM. So that's, a, that's an awesome thing. Back here, you have a huge accumulator, which you're not going to be able to maybe see, but it's as big as the compressor itself. And so that's because it can connect to up to so many different indoor units. So this is for large commercial applications. But once again, like I said, you can get as small as a six ton VRF system connected to three phase. One other thing I want to point out is on these VRF systems where you have the top air discharge, these can be set for low static pressure if you install this outside. Or if this is in a mechanical floor area, these can be set for high static pressure and you can duct them to the outside. So I hope this video has helped you understand the differences between mini split multi-zones, mini VRF, and VRF systems.